Sarah Ferguson is speaking out on finally finding her voice and her hopes for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. During an interview with Good Morning America, the Duchess of York, who has spent most of her adult life in the spotlight, got candid about getting vilified in the British tabloids and pitted against her late sister-in-law, Princess Diana. We realized that we were selling papers rather than it being real. In the days of Diana and I, it was really tough. Do you feel as if the media treats women unfairly? You don't really have an opinion. And uh, I think it's quite fun to keep coming back with an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the rebel in me? I, I think, think that might be the rebel be. in you. Several decades later, Diana's son, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan Markle, have now become the big targets in the British media, which Fergie says is just not right. Where is your thoughts on the way the press has treated Meghan in particular? There should be no judgment on race, creed, color, and any other denomination. I wish Harry and Meghan so much happiness. But Sarah did note that Princess Diana would be so proud of them. And I know that Diana would be so proud of her sons and their wives. I love Diana and I will always love her, as though she's here in, in person. Now, this isn't the first time Fergie has recently spoken out about her nephews. Earlier this week, the royal told town and country that she didn't feel worthy of being invited to Prince William and Kate Middleton's 2011 wedding. Fergie was caught on camera promising access to her ex-husband, Andrew, in exchange for roughly $700,000. However, Fergie was invited to Meghan and Harry's 2018 wedding, and she's clearly trying to stay on the more neutral side regarding the couple's relationship with the royal family.